Before I start this video out, I want to give a quick shout out to Anime Skater 12. He's reverse Roxas on Twitter. I'm going to put a photo up now. I live in the Kansas City area and he was visiting family and he was about 20 miles from me. So I went out into his family's house and spent a good hour talking to him about Android stuff. And uh, it was pretty freaking awesome. I would have killed to have parents like his when I was growing up and going through a really hard time. And before I start this video out, like I said, if you think I should someday make a video talking about my past, what I've gone through growing up, and explain a lot of things, please let me know. If I get a lot of comments requesting me to make that video, I'll go ahead and do it. It'll be really emotional and it'll kind of be a sad video, but hopefully it'll help other people out that went through a hard time growing up like I did. So if I should do it, let me know in the comments. Again, it was awesome meeting you, Anime Skater. He's an awesome guy and his parents are pretty freaking awesome people too. Let's get to the video. I have a 50 foot ethernet cable running from the router that's in the living room to this router right here because I was getting such poor Wi-Fi signal I had to do something about it because the downloads kept failing so the downloads should not fail when I download AOKP from my Transformer Prime this time. The only device that's missing here is the touchpad, Galaxy Tab, and the Galaxy Nexus on Sprint because the Galaxy Nexus is my wife's phone. I'll be able to open this up when I finally get my freaking new phone. I also want to note real quick that I have like four different devices charging right now and there is no computer hooked up to this. USB hub. No computer. It's freaking awesome. Alright, I'm getting it as clear as I can get it without all the stupid wavy lines in it. That's what I'm talking about right there. It's about as good as I'm gonna get it. Here we go. This is actually so simple that I don't even feel I should make a video on this. Go to Goo Manager. It's available in the Google Play Store. Browse compatible ROMs. Choose the AOKP, TF201, and always choose the very top build. 36. Begin download. You'll also want to download the Google add-ons, but I already have those. It's as simple as clicking this. To check the status of your downloads, just click on the notification. That's the Google add-ons. Wow, it looks like actually both of them finished. So we got the TF201, AOKP, and the Google add-ons. Oh, real quick, I forgot to mention that keyboard shortcuts work now on the latest build of CM9. You can press screenshot. And it takes a screenshot. The Wi-Fi, trackpad, Bluetooth, auto brightness, every single button works on CM9 now. And I believe AOKP is built off of CM9. So until AOKP updates to what CM9 is updated to, those might not work. But we're going to click order and flash selected. Make sure that the ROM is on top. Absolutely make sure. You can change the order by clicking the arrows and moving them up and down. The Google add-ons are gonna be installed after the ROM is installed. I'm going to choose all three of these options. Then I'm gonna name this CM9, and then press OK, and wipe data, factory reset. If you do not check this, you're going to have a lot of problems. And then press flash. Yes. And while it's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the screen. This is gonna take several minutes. When I say several, I mean several. I'm gonna take a second to give Brave Ghost 911 a quick shout out. I helped him fix his issue where the Transformer Prime wouldn't charge, and he just subscribed to me. Thank you, man. It tells you how long each part takes, so that's why I'm not gonna worry about putting up how long it took. And it even tells you the rate at which it did it, too. Now it's flashing the actual ROM. Holy cow, totally missed that. You get the stock ice cream sandwich boot animation? I figured it would be the little unicorn. Heck yeah you do. I'm using the mouse for my laptop. I have the little USB dongle on the side over there. You can't really see it. This is the router that I just showed you at the beginning of the video. My downloads were insanely fast and I didn't get a failed download because of a super weak connection. Again, I always check no and then choose my time zone, which is central. And then I choose yes. Sign in. That's kind of hard to see. I'm going to turn the white balance down. Hopefully it's a little better. Next. Next. Wait. Ta da! I don't know why I didn't think about using a mouse a long time ago. Hey, that's pretty cool. The battery icons are different. 
No bloat at all. I mean, absolutely nothing gets installed except for essential apps like Super User. Let's see if the buttons work. The screenshot button does work. You can disable the trackpad and it even tells you on the screen. That's pretty freaking awesome. You can enable and disable Bluetooth using the keyboard. So pretty much all of the stock keyboard shortcuts work. This is different. You got quick buttons up here and you can just toggle them on and off by clicking on them or sliding them. And this is your brightness. You can turn it up and down. And to get to all your settings, that's a good question. I don't know how to do that besides going here and then choosing settings. We're going to go to about tablet. And you'll see right there it says AOKP build 36. What's pretty freaking awesome about AOKP is you have ROM control in your settings right here. And there's like a million different things that you can play with. You can disable the boot animation when you click it. It says jerk. <laughs> I don't know what the bug mailer is. Allow 180 rotation, recent window style. Oh, WebOS, sweet. So if we open up like, whoa. If we open up Clipper, and we close it, and we open up Chrome to phone, well then we'll do Cisco Connect. Whoa, okay. Home. Now if we press on the recent apps, it's like WebOS and you slide them up. That's pretty sweet, I like that. We're gonna go back to settings. Using the keyboard shortcut, ROM control, general UI again, enable volume options, custom carrier label. I want mine to say what would Josh do. For the navigation bar, you can actually change the color to whatever you want. And then whenever you press on it, you'll notice it has a little like blue glow by default. You can actually change that to whatever you want it to be. Now when you press on it, it's blue. Another really awesome thing about AOKP is you can set the buttons. Like button number one is back. We can actually make that a search button. You'll see now it has a little search icon next to it. Of course we want it to be the back button. It really sucks you can't have a fourth one for like the menu button. Which you can change that over here. I know you can change it in the options. I just gotta figure out where it's at. Have battery percentage in the lock screen. There's literally way too many options to go through in this video without making it very long. Show screenshot. Whenever you hold the power button down, it brings up the things that you can do. Screenshot's not enabled by default, so you actually go through the power menu options and you enable it or disable it. Even if you disable it, you can still press the keyboard shortcut on the dock if you have the dock, which I highly recommend the dock. To me, it complements the Transform Prime and pretty much makes it a complete tablet. You can have it do the weather, show your location. It's so many things. Like I said, I literally just cannot go through all of them. Disable the USB debugging icon for when you have it up to your computer. This is where the toggles are. Enable toggles. I can do all of these right here. Don't know what swagger is. We'll find out here in a second. And close. Now when we click on it. Now if we click right here, I'm going to get rid of the notifications, of course. Look, you got silent, airplane, swagger, whatever swagger is, I don't know. I have no clue. That's awesome. It's kind of like Signs you Mod where you have them in the notification bar and you can choose which ones you want, but their toggles are not little buttons. Well, I mean, you can click on them, but whatever. Go back to the settings. There is a themes option and you can install different themes. I'm not a real big themer. I kind of like things the way they were meant to be. You don't need a signal bar because you're using a tablet. By default, you can overclock it to 1600 and then once again, my SD card completely filled. I need to get something bigger than 16 gigs because that fills up so quickly on this Canon 60D. I had those videos transferred to my hard drive and rendering with Adobe Premiere Pro. I had, 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 had 
to show this to you guys. Okay, I'm gonna post a screenshot of it, but in the ROM control settings, there is a way to have more than three buttons, which is what I was talking about in the video. Like, I set the fourth one to menu, because I really like having a menu button there at all times, and this one right here kills the app that you're on. You'll notice that I'm on the home screen, but there is a menu button there. That's freaking awesome. And then one more thing before I end this video completely, is when you close it all the way, the screen actually turns off. On CM9, the screen does not turn off when you close it, and it does not turn on when you open it. I'm gonna do it really quickly. See, that's freaking awesome. You just do not know. And all the little buttons that show up on the screen as you enable and disable stuff, that doesn't happen on CM9 either. This is going to be my new ROM. I am dead serious. This is awesome. Having, you can choose these buttons. Again, I'm gonna put up a screenshot. You can choose these buttons in the ROM control settings. That is, you just don't even know. This is what would Josh do. If you like this video, please, 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 please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. If you're not subscribed to me, please do so. I upload content on a regular basis. I work hard on my videos. I try to always produce high quality content, and I will not let you down. Again, this is what would Josh do, and I'm out.